Welcome to video three of how to monetize your Instagram even with less than a thousand followers. If you haven't watched videos one and two yet, I recommend you get to those before you watch this one. But if you want to stick around, you can do that too. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Everybody's welcome here. <laughs> In this third video, you're going to learn about media kits and why they matter and how to present them to brands you want to work with. So if you're ready, let's go. All right, we've done a lot of work so far to help you get your Instagram profile and brand properly aligned so that you can monetize that account regardless of how many followers you have. Because yes, it is very much possible to make money on Instagram even without thousands and thousands of followers, okay? Thousands of brands out there are equally interested in micro-influencers as they are macro-influencers, so you're good. Now, in the last two videos, you already learned the different types of partnerships that you can have, and you started a list of different brands that you want to work with. Now, that list is going to keep growing, right? Obviously, it's going to grow indefinitely for as long as you're on this path. And you also got very clear in the last couple of videos on your brand, what it represents, as well as getting a really clear understanding of who your followers are so that you know how to present your account to potential partners and brands. If you've done all that work, then you're ready for this video. But if you haven't done all that work and you're trying to skip ahead, you're only cheating yourself and you're going to end up having to go back and do these things anyway. So just save yourself the time. Trust me with what I'm telling you. Do it right from the beginning, okay? Hay un dicho en español que dice, el, el vago trabaja doble. Don't do that. <laughs> now, now that you understand your brand and you've been working on content that matches that message, your aesthetic of your brand is looking good, your feed should also be looking much better, your engagement should be going up. By the way, if you're still struggling with what to post, you can click the link below for my Insta Basics course where you can learn how to never run out of content to post for your account, okay? But all that should already be looking much better. So now that your feed and your content are on point, you have a way to build your media kit. Think of your media kit as an influencer's resume, right? This is like a one pager that highlights which social media platforms you use, how many followers you have on each one, what your engagement rate is, and a short description of what your account is all about who your audience is, and why you're great to partner with, okay? So your personality and authenticity are the most important elements for any influencer account, okay? So that's where you're going to put a lot of that in there. Now that you know what a media kit is, let me teach you how to make your own. Head on over to canva.com or download the free app. I prefer to do designs on my desktop. It's just so much easier. Do a search for media kit. Choose a style that you like. Swap out for your photos, plug in your data, and if you're just starting or you just want to keep it simple, this right here is my go-to design. One page, cute, straight to the point, easy to make. You don't need to overcomplicate this, okay? Once you have determined the brands that you'd like to work with, you can email or DM them. Follow this simple template. Introduce yourself, tell them why you love their product or their brand, say that you'd love to partner with them to introduce their product to your followers, then tell them why your followers are a great audience for them. This is the point where you want to point out that your followers are their ideal client too. Ask if they're interested in partnering up with you, and if so, what budget do they usually work with for their influencer campaigns? Assume that you're getting paid that it's not going to be a barter. Follow up until you hear back, and when you do, say something like, I've attached my media kit for a better understanding of my brand and how we're a great fit. I don't recommend that you attach your media kit from the beginning because sometimes that'll get your email bounced out of their inboxes and into their spam. From here, it's just a matter of negotiating price and deliverables, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about in next week's final video for this series.
I'm so excited. <laughs> if you have questions, ideas, experiences, a poem that you want to share, it doesn't matter. Drop whatever you want in the comments. <laughs> I can't wait to read you. And be sure to come back next week for another Seizing Happy Tip of the Week. <laughs> you really can put poems down there. It's okay. <laughs>